IITJ, the second toughest exam in the whole world. Every year, more than 10 lakh students all over India attempt it. But only one person of them, even less than of them, get the chance to get into the top NITs, triple ITs, GFTIs, and one of the most prestigious institute of India, the IIT. What if I told you to be the 1%, you need 20% preparation, 10% efforts, and 10% focus. Where is 60? A proper roadmap. Hey guys, myself Shubham. I got 99.1 percentile in JEMS, 118 rank in the West Bengal JE. Here to give you a clear, a very practical roadmap. What books to follow? How to utilize coaching and YouTube? Practice strategy, proper revision technique, how to make notes, how many hours to study, sleeping hours, clear backlogs, mock tests, manage boards, overcome distractions, and in the last. How to program your brain to maintain the focus till you become the top 1%. Firstly, what books to follow? There are a lot of books for J mains and advanced. But the question should not be what books to follow, rather it should be how to follow. But for reference, these are some books that you can refer for physics, these are for maths, these are for chemistry. Just take a screenshot of them. Take it. But your main focus should not be on solving as many books as you can, but on solving one or two books as many times as you can. And that would help you when you will solve a similar question to this one and you will remember, yes, the previous time I solved a question like this. I tried this method. This was wheat length but this method seemed to be easier because at the end experience gives you perfection nextly how to utilize coaching and YouTube well here comes two types of student online student and offline student as we all know that online coaching industry the edtech companies are just like booming now even I was an online student there are different respective benefits of studying online versus offline but if you are studying from YouTube just make sure whenever you are trying to get a new concept learn a new concept you refer to a complete new video Video or a complete playlist of that concepts like for physics you want to learn the chapter gravitation just head over to YouTube search over it and refer to those videos where each and every concept is taught in a detailed manner and never just never refer to one shot videos for learning new things I said never do this these videos are for your revision and if you are an online student maybe a paid student or a free student studying from YouTube you have to be more disciplined, more consistent and a way more focused than an offline student. Because in offline, there are many teachers in front of you to guide you. But in online, there are no teachers live in front of you to guide you that you are following the right guy direction. That is only you to choose between what to follow, what to not. For online, these are some platforms and channels you should follow and the list contains why you should refer to them. But for sure, don't just 100% depend on your teachers because their contribution is just maybe 20 or 30% and the rest 70 or 80% is up to you. That depends on you, how you work on yourself. And here comes how should you make the notes. Firstly, remember this is your notes. You are the only one to study it. So just stop decorating into it multiple colors like it's your school project. Just take the running notes whenever you are watching or attending a lecture. Just write and always for sure sit with a pen and your notebook and obviously make separate copies for physics, maths, inorganic, physical and organic chemistry. This will not only save you tons of time of decorating those sheets but also increase your speeds and focus on the lecture. Your notes may look as dumb as hell but if you can understand it every word by word that is a deadly weapon for your J preparation. I mean it. Then comes what should be your practice strategy. Yes, you may have gone through the rotation chapter 10 to 20 times but that's all worthless if you haven't solved enough problems of it. You should keep the target of solving at least 30 questions of each subject every single day. I said at least. And for maths, practicing hell amount of problem will only make you strong. It includes DPPs, practice sets, your class illustrations, books and all of it. But not all at a time. Whenever one chapter is completed, you may not get the enough time to solve all of this because in your class or in your batch, the next chapter would have been started. Rather, you do one or two of them. Like for example, you do the DPPs and the practice set while the chapter is running and you keep the rest for your revision purposes and keep doing it. Because remember one thing, J is only about practice, practice and more practice. But the problem is that you keep forgetting what you have been taught. There comes the proper revision technique. 
but here you should be using what is called the 45 minutes rush you should allow two hours a day right after you wake up just open your maths copy revise the theory and start solving problems but why maths? Because right after you wake up, the next 45 minutes is the time when your brain is the most active and maths requires a lot of brain work. You are kind of doing a workout for your brain right after you wake up by straight hitting it with maths problems. Solve for 30 minutes, then study chemistry for 30 minutes and then physics for another 30. But all you should do it in two parts, 10 minutes for revision and 20 minutes for practicing problems. But you should always start your revision by solving problems. You may start to many of them just leave it as it is and go to the next one and after all is completed check why didn't you able to solve it revise the concept and go just follow this revision technique for the next 30 days and you will see the difference but in organic to parna hi parta hai you can't help with it and here's the overrated question of how many hours you should study but that should not be your focus that 12 hours 18 hours of study will only make me the top one percent rather every night you should make the routine of the next day that what chapters would you do the next day what would you revise how many questions you are gonna practice but don't allow time to it and your only goal the next day should be checking all the goals you have made yesterday just stick to it but for my suggestion during your syllabus is being completed when you are at the very beginning you should focus on studying at least seven to eight hours and when your syllabus is almost completed and you are in the november or december time when you are in a practice mode you should focus on studying at least for 11 to 12 hours besides your lectures and classes but true i'm your only thing about the study technique but how many hours should we sleep and shouldn't we take breaks damn no just don't compromise your sleep at least try to sleep for six to seven hours if you sleep less your brain would not be that much efficient to work and if and if your brain doesn't work with that power then what's worth of sleeping less so sleep for six to seven hours straight in the night and the day before your exam trying to at least sleep for seven to eight hours because that is the d day but should not we take breaks for obvious you should take like you should not be studying for for seven to eight hours straight but better it would be if you study for 45 minutes and take a five minutes break and likewise break your whole 10 hours of study spans into the 45 5 45 5 minutes of alternative study and breaks but what should we do in the breaks do whatever you can but just never touch your phone for those five minutes just never you can walk out you can drink water you can go to washroom but just don't use your phone and how you can overcome distractions like in today's world distractions have become too easy to catch you but just uninstall all the social media apps no instagram no facebook no whatsapp nothing but if whatsapp is still needed for your official words just use your parents whatsapp and delete yours you would never realize how the five minutes break would turn into a 50 minutes real session and you would left with no time and all guilt install a app blocker on your phone and block all the unnecessary Necessary app, but I would prefer to delete all the social media apps. and you should delete them. But what if you have made a slum of backlogs? How can you clear them? Just stop searching over Google and YouTube. How can I clear my backlogs in one day? How can I clear my backlogs in one hour? Just stop this shit. A lot at least three to four hours a week. Plan that this is the time when i would only and just only clear my backlog chapters don't practice many questions from those chapters just practice the most important ones because you have left with no time you may still say that i have no time i have to watch lectures i have to sleep what is more important you have created it and you are the only one who have to clear it you just don't have to clear it in one day rather plan i will complete this part today this part tomorrow and this part the next day likewise you will surely complete the whole chapter then the whole backlog but for my opinion try to avoid creating backlogs as much as you can and if you're in 12th and just started your preparation this year then you must have to allot a certain amount of time every week for revising the chapters of 11th. That's it. And for 12th, you have got board exams, theories, practical exams and all over it. How to manage all of them? As we all know that board exams generally occurs after your main attempt 1 and before attempt 2. And if you are consistently and dedicatedly preparing for IIT J, then you don't need any separate preparation for the boards. And to be honest, just start solving your previous year question papers of your boards one month before of your exam and that would easily make you score 90% and above. Believe me, that will. And the most important and the most crucial part that will make you ahead of the 90% 
person of the aspirants because most of them just skip it or don't even do it mock tests give as many of them as you can if you are enrolled in a test series or you're coaching just attempt their weekly test just don't skip it you may say that i have not completed the test syllabus and how can i attempt it just attempt it and before one to two months of your actual exam start solving as many mock tests as you can but not only attempting them will help you out you must give proper time to analyze all of them write it down on a separate copy for mock test analysis and before you sit for the next mock test always go through the mistake copy and try to maintain the environment of your mock test as same as your exam hall and that would vigorously help you out i myself didn't give that much value to this thing at first but gradually i realized how much crucial is for you to attempt the mock tests this will not only increase your speed and accuracy but also make you habituated with that exam pressure remember one thing that the more you wait in the practice the less you bleed in the actual battle and if you are still here that is the hunger because hunger is the only thing that makes lion the king and to be the 10 percent even getting to the one person you need that hunger you don't need motivation or stuffs like that for eating that biryani why because that is tasty but the j journey is not that much interesting man the same rotation problems the same integrals and those shitty inorganic trends how many hours do those motivational videos stuck in your head maybe one or two hours or up a day then it's gone so be practical as much as you can you have to remember that if the whole journey was that much easy everyone would have done that everyone and it's okay that every day of your journey would not be that much linear some days you would study like nothing that's okay but that's you that's your hunger that is pushing you here that made you was the whole video if you are consistent for your journey and dedicated to your goal that's okay that i didn't feel good today i will cover the chapter tomorrow and for obvious you should do and to be the top 10 person 5 person even the top 1 person is not a big deal if you are consistent and dedicated but ultimately as a previous GE aspirant as a dropper student my recommendation is to you just don't run after ranks run after the mindset that J will give you because the victory of success is half done when one gains the habit of work